This is the end of the battle for Seoul, capital of the Republic. The main it was once a defense perimeter, UN troops surge forward amid cheering South Koreans and go about the grim business of cleaning our pockets of resistance. And grim business it is. As they gorged earth, the inevitable aftermath of a bitter war blackens the moon. It's a stubborn foe that's flushed out of his hundreds of hideouts, and they pay with their lives by the thousands as they are caught in the traps of General Mellotov of mopping up snipers ends in victory. The fighting enters its final phase. From here on, much of the struggle is hand-in, -hand, as on the outskirts of Seoul, where red snipers were flushed out one by one. There the fighting... It's weary business chasing red bandits and liberating a country whose only wish is freedom from aggression. It also calls for... General MacArthur makes a personal visit to Seoul, where he returns the government of the Republic to President Syngman Rhee. With tears in his eyes, the Supreme Commander completes his first assignment under the United Nations banner. Turn bulldozers to bury the enemy in their dugouts. There are still about 100,000 reds to be taken, annihilated or contained below the 38th parallel. Drive on the 38th parallel continues. General MacArthur demanded complete surrender, but surrender or no surrender, these patriots will not rest until their country is free and unified.